Hey, what's everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to file this under a very special, didn't think I would ever own this. Today we're going to talk about the Mythic Legion's Tibias. It's incomplete. I'm missing only one part, but I'm going to just say that now. So that way someone's not in the comments or trying to email me. Hey man, you missed this. I'm like, listen, I know what it is. <laughs> so yeah, let us jump to the actual toy. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to my main man, Force Photos, aka Jake, who actually went out of his way and found this for me. Uh, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you, bro, for real, because I legitimately thought I would never own this and I gave up a while ago. Um, so hopefully you enjoy the photos at the end, bro. Um, this is one of those things where I really like army building. I, it's something that I really enjoy doing. But your army builders are only as good as your army building leader. And I think Tibius definitely fits that for me. He fits the I lead skeletons because I'm head skeleton around this motherfucker. You know, he, he just does it. He, he does it well. And um, I love the look of it. It's a very simple, clean, super skeleton design. Um, so yeah. In actuality, the silver armor with the dirt highlights definitely give you the ring of he's not scared to do business whenever and wherever. Like, I came out the dirt I, I, and I'm not scared to put you back there. It's just one of those things where a simple silver design goes a long way with a brown wash to just make it look really, really cool. So... <clears throat> without further ado um it's tough because uh going on articulation doesn't really matter for most mythic legions as they are 1.0s and 2.0 bodies all share the same articulation design so i don't really want to show that stuff but it's still a part of the video um one thing i will say is i just really like the skeleton head i really do i'm just so happy to have this so i'm glad to be able to finally talk about it so yeah let's do the articulation and all that other good jazz and we'll just talk about other cool stuff in the meantime now we have our standard, I can look up, I can look straight, but I can't look down. We have our collar here, which can come off after you remove the neck. You just pull it up. Um, we can hit the T-pose. That's because this little piece right here slides up. So with our skeletons, without our pauldrons, we can hit a T-pose, which will allow us to get really spooky, should we need to. We have our single joint. We have our rotating forearm. Oh, sorry, rotating gauntlet on our armor. Oh, my joints are really tight. And as you can see, you can still rotate it all the way around with zero to little issue. My joints are tight, even after all this time. Shout out to Jake for finding a nice tight one. We have our swivel joint, right? Oh, sorry. We have our ball joint <laughs> right here that allows us to simulate the ab crunch on him. That means when you're doing any sort of leaning forward pose or any Jess Hernandez poses, you'll see here. It looks pretty good. Our leg articulation is crazy because we're a skeleton and we are not piloting a meat mech. So as you can see here, he can get fashionably weird with it. We have our armor piece that dresses to protect their bony crotch. We have a single joint that allows it to come up and we have super generous ankle pivot. So <clears throat> posing this guy up, not an issue. At least for the simplest of mythic legions, this guy is definitely going to cover all your bases of scary, spooky stuff. Oh yeah, I like that. We also can rotate slightly here. This may cause some paint rubs, so just be careful how you go about that. What's unique about him though, is that like uh, the Mythic Legion's Night Builder, you will get this piece here for the waist area, which basically allows you to uh, store your weapons right here by his side. That means he's almost pretty much seen always with his stuff. Accessory wise, he's very light, very, very light. So you will get a cape. This is the stock cape. Um, I personally do not use this one. It is nice. Don't get it twisted. It's very nice. But we all know I like wired capes. For this one to go on, how you would do it is you pretty much fold it in. Ooh, and you fell because I was doing a little too much at once. As you can see, you'll fold it in. Then you'll have your pauldron here. And you're going to fold it right between and then go the pauldron right over. So this will look pretty good here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so I can show you guys what it looks like with this on. I really like pauldrons. We already knew that though. Man, customizing Mythic Legions is much harder than it looks. And don't let anybody ever tell you different because I can't paint to save my life. And it's crazy because a lot of people give customizers crap. Like, listen, man, it takes heart and effort to at least try that stuff. And after trying it, I'm gonna say it. No, honestly, it ain't for me. 
That's why I pay other people to do this stuff. And then we have our nice flowing semi-cloth like cape. This is gonna be when you wanna be an evil warlord and you obviously want to punish those around you, it folds in. You can obviously fold it on the backhand side to make it come around the other way. And you see the nice tatters in the way. Me personally, this is a nice cape, but it doesn't have the flow that I like. So I had a custom one made. And this one is made by Harker Customs. And this one also is flowy. It's not as long, but it definitely flows and it's wired. So I'll put that on in a second, but I wanna talk about these weapons real fast. So you are going to get two daggers. You can actually store them at the side if you want, or you can store swords, which I'll get into in a second. So you'll get daggers that if you wanna store at the sides, they'll look phenomenal as you wanna leave them there. Yeah, yeah. And you'll also get two short swords. Actually, I couldn't show all these short swords. They're just shorter than the swords I'm used to. These are actually knight swords, the small version of them. So you do get larger ones. So he can dual wield. That's obvious that he is a dual wielder and he don't give a crap about what you think because he's probably going to murder you. So yeah, I'm going to put on this custom cape so we can see how foreign he looks in it. We have our fine cape man here. Now, having this guy posed up, looking clean with this cape, looking all flowy and nice. Now he looks like the mass murderer that he really wants to be. And I gotta say, it's it's a good look. I really like how clean these guys look sometimes. It's just fun to have all these cool sort of options. Again, I can't customize to save my life, so painting is out of the question. But little things like adding a cape, changing a different color, giving it a black wash, Things like that in Mythic Legions have been so much fun to at least try. And it's why I'm definitely encouraging those to give it a shot. I know that I'm terrible at it now, but that doesn't mean you could be. Um, so definitely give it a shot. Real quick, though, we've gone over accessories. We've talked about Tibius. Um, what I want to do is I want to get him, get his cape down and flowy. Down, down, down. We're going to size him up with some other stuff. And we're going to get a size comparison going. So let's do just that. Um, what can I compare him to? If I have a run. Oh, you know what? Let's compare some other Mythic Legions first. So let's do that. I have a different type of skeleton. I have Scaphoid here. Scaphoid, another skeleton bro. Here hanging out with Tibius. And the extra head that I'm missing on Tibius technically comes on this guy, but in a different color. And it has the articulated jaw. So I'm missing out on that. But it'd be like that sometimes. Then we're going to look, see... What Tibius looks like next to a 2.0 skeleton. So that way when you lead your skeleton army, you know what you bout it about it, and you know what you're getting into. So with a 2.0 skeleton, that's what we got going on. And then next to a Faustia, which also shares a 2.0 body. So as you can see size-wise, this stuff looks pretty good. I don't see too much of a fault in all of it. I I'm just having a good time. And so Ooh, 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 he's an ogre too. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. There we go. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna do some army building shots with him. Leading the charge, beating the bricks off somebody, or just looking really cool. So let's take all these guys away, right? And let's compare Tibia to some other stuff that we got here. Um, Because I've always wanted to see predators versus evil skeletons. Here is Ahab next to Tibius. Here is a ninja. So let's do an articulated icons ninja. In case, you know, skeletons come to the modern times, like some Ghostbuster style stuff. Here is a Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider. So size wise, we definitely have some range across the board. Next up, we have a Lightning Collection Gold Ranger, which I definitely see this happening. That's That'll be a good crossover. We have a Mezco Me on a Spec Ops Gomez body. We do have Storm Collectible Samurai Skeleton because Samurais versus Knights is always a cool thing. And Tibius might meet his match here because this guy looks pretty formidable. You know what I mean? Let's take all these guys away. Let's give us our next batch. So we're gonna do a 1000 Toys Synthetic Carb. It's gonna be a much smaller guy compared to Tibius. We have SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga which is amongst the smaller guys. 
And we have a G.I. Joe classified beachhead with poncho. Shout out to my main man in Atlanta for that. I appreciate you, bro. I think that just about covers everybody. I mean, yeah, I think that about covers everything. And just because I want to be a whole class clown, I've done it in, in my live stream. So if you've seen that before, here's Gumby. Just to make sure you want to size up right, square up with everybody. <laughs> Overall, this has been a blast to do. Just kind of having fun, putting stuff out there and enjoying things. I hope you guys are really and truly doing the same, for real. As always, I hope you found this informative. I hope you found it enjoyable. I hope you got a laugh out of it, too. As always, please, guys, be good, do good, drink your water. Later.